Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about meter flange. Meter flange is one of the most important tools we have in sheet metal. So to use a meter flange first, I'm going to create a base flange. To do that, I'm going to go to sketch here and then top plane. So on top plane, I'm going to draw a center rectangle with origin as the center. I'm going to use smart dimension for this. So this is going to be, let's say 300. And this one over here is going to be 150. Now we have a fully defined center rectangle here. So I'm going to click OK. Uh, to use or to create a base flange, I'm going to go to sheet metal without exiting the sketch. and. As you can see, none of the options are available here. They are all disabled except swept flange and base flange. So first, I'm going to create on base flange. As you can see, SolidWorks automatically selected the sketch. And if you want the extrusion to be in the upward direction, you can click on reverse direction over here or else you can leave it as it is. I'm going to give the thickness as 3 mm. You can give any thickness as per your requirement. And then we have K factor value under bend allowance as 0 0.5, which is default. And I'm going to use the default value for that. And for relief ratio, we have 0 0.5. I'm going to use the same. I'm not using any gauge table here because uh, I haven't specified the material yet. So which is why I'm not using any sheet metal parameters and gauge table. So I'm going to click on OK. Now we have the base flange and to create a meter flange, we need to have a profile. So the profile is going to be perpendicular to the plane on which we have the base flange. So here we have the base flange on top plane. So I'm going to create a profile which is perpendicular to top plane. So it's going to be in this direction, which is Y direction. And I'm going to create a profile on this face. You can use any of the faces here, either this or this, or the one which is on the other side. So it's up to you based on the requirement. So I'm going to right click over here and then click on sketch. Now it is normal to that face. So with this as the starting point, I'm going to create the profile. First, I'm going to create a line. So meter flanges are basically used to make complex bends uh, without using edge flanges in sheet metal. So I'm going to show how it works. So here I have a vertical line and then a horizontal line. Here I'm going to use an arc and then an horizontal line. Now, uh, line which is at an angle, at a certain angle to the horizontal. So this is the profile I created. I also want to fully define this sketch by using smart dimension. So smart dimension. One thing you need to observe over here is that meter flanges doesn't require a closed profile. The work can be done using open profile. So this is going to be 50. And the angle between this line and this line is going to be 45 degrees. I want to make these two lines equal. So this one over here, press control and this line are equal. And the dimension of this line is 15 mm. And the radius of this arc is 5 mm. 
Now the sketch is fully defined. So we have a profile here. All I have to do is go to sheet metal and then as you can see now the metal flange section or metal flange option is available for us. So when you just hover the cursor on metal flange option, you can see the image over here. So it, this is how it's going to extrude the metal or material. So I'm going to click on metal flange. So SolidWorks, so SolidWorks automatically detected the edge one, which is this edge. And I just want to go to isometric view. So as you can see, SOLIDWORKS automatically detected this edge and it extruded the profile in that direction. Also, we have certain parameters here. The first one is use default radius. So I'm using a default radius for this particular uh, meter flange, but you can change the radius. So here we have default radius is 1 mm. So the radius of bend over here is 1 mm. I can change that by unselecting this option and then changing the radius. So I'm going to give some radius as 3. As you can see, the radius of the bend increased. So if I change it back to, if I change it to 5, so the radius is further increased. I'm going to use uh, 1 mm as the radius or I can simply click on this. Uh, let's say if you enter something like 5 mm and if you simply click on use default radius, it's going to go back to 1 mm. Now we have flange position. So to view flange position, the best practice is to go normal to this face, the face on which we draw the profile. So first one is material inside. So here, this is the edge and the material is inside this edge. So the bending as well as the material extraction is happening before this edge and then material outside the edge so this this side this face is gonna be over here as you can see this face and this face the inner face are coincidental to each other then we have bend outside as you can see the bend here The bend here is inside the edge. So if I select this option, the bend is going to be outside this edge. I'm going to go back to the default flange position for now. And you can't see any trim side bends because the meter flange is only on the single edge. But if you give meter flange on multiple edges. So the best thing we have with meter flanges is that we can select multiple edges to generate the uh, flange. Also, you need to make sure that you are selecting adjacent edges. So I'm not using trim side bends for now. Also, we have gap distance. You can't see any gap distance here because there is no flange on this side or this side. So I'm going to explain that later. For now, we will have a look at starter and offset. So start offset. So this is the starting point and we have the profile over here. So if I give an offset value, let's say 50 mm, the flange is going to start at a point which is 50 mm away from this point. So this is start offset. And then if I give a distance of about, let's say 80 mm, so the flange will end at a point which is 80 mm away from this end point. So this is the end point and this is the start point for this edge. But if I select multiple edges, so this is going to be the end point. And if I selected this edge as well, so somewhere over here is going, to, sorry, this is the starting point and somewhere over here, we are going to have the end point. So I'm gonna set it back to zero, zero. Also, I want to select multiple edges now. This edge. So as you can see, we also have the meter flange with same profile on this side as well, or this edge. I'm just gonna go to 
isometric view for a clear picture so as you can see we have a meter flange with the profile we draw over here and then we have a meter flange on this edge as well i can also select this edge so we have meter flange on three edges and these edges are adjacent to each other let's say if i selected the first edge and then i selected the third edge we are not going to get a meter flange over here because these two edges are not adjacent to each other now if i give a start offset it's gonna come over here and if i give an end offset it's gonna be over here so let's try that out so i'm gonna give an off start offset of 50 mm so the meter flange is starting at a point which is 50 mm away from this point and if i give a uh, end offset of let's say 50 mm it's gonna be somewhere over here so this is the end point now earlier the end point is over here because of the single edge now as i selected two more edges the end point is over here so i'm gonna go back and set it to zero again now let's have a look at the gap distance to clearly see the gap distance i'm gonna rotate this a little so we can see gap distance in this corner first i'm gonna click on ok to clearly see the meter flange so this is how we have the meter flange here And to check the gap over here, I'm going to go back to meter flange. I'm going to right click over here and I'm going to click on edit feature. So as you can see, the gap distance is 0.25 mm. So we have a gap distance of about 0.25 over here. And if I change this and make it something like 5 mm, we can see clearly see the gap. So we have a gap of about 5 mm over here. I'm going to set it to 10 mm. So you can see a 10 mm gap over here. So what happens with meter flange is that whenever you are using sheet metal feature to make complex uh, bends, we need to give some gap so that it will be easy to fabricate. So to do that, we are going to use this gap distance option by default it is something like 0.25 mm to make it functional we are going to give a little bit of gap distance let's say something like 3 mm now we have a gap distance of about 3 mm as you can see we have a base flange uh, with meter flange on three edges and to view the flatten pattern you can simply click on this flatten over here and you can see the flat pattern of this sheet metal so this way you can use meter flange to create some complex bends using sheet metal stay tuned to the channel thanks for watching the video see you in the next video until then bye bye